Hi guys, welcome to Monocure 3D Pro Tips. In this episode, we're gonna look at the FEP sheet and how to change it on this Elegoo Mars 3D printer. So the FEP sheet is of course this clear plastic sheet at the bottom of the vat. This allows the resin to release and it's important it's kept in good condition. If you puncture it, if it gets cloudy, if you notice that the prints are starting to not adhere to the build plate but rather stick to the FEP sheet, it's probably time to change it. A quick plug here, we sell 100 micron and 200 micron FEP sheets on our web store. Of course the 200 micron is double the thickness. The main difference is that the 200 is going to be a little bit more durable than the 100. It's up to you which one you choose. I always use the 200s because I just think we're a bit rougher on them. We're printing a lot. The 100s are great and they work really well as well, but they are just that little bit thinner. So you just need to be a little bit more careful of them. Uh, as I've mentioned before, we never touch anything in here that is metal. It's always plastic or a gloved fingernail. To remove the FEP sheet, you need to start undoing these screws. There's quite a few of them. It looks like it's not too bad, but then when you get these ones out, you flip it over and you'll see that these all need to be removed as well. So it comes with a couple of tools. This is for the smaller ones on the other side, and this is for the large ones on the top here. So it's just a matter of undoing it. It's a good idea just to grab a plastic cup or any sort of container and just pop the screws in there. And then you know that they're not gonna roll off the bench and they're all gonna be there at the end when you go to put it all back together. All right, so now all of these have been removed. It's time to push this out gently and flip it over. There you go, we've got all them to do next. That's with this tool. It would be a lot better to put the smaller ones in another cup and then it's gonna be easier when you put it back together. All right, so that's the last screw. Okay, before I take this out, I just wanted to show you uh, the reason why this seems very floppy at this stage here. The reason is that it needs to fit inside this lip here and if it wasn't floppy like that and you did that very tight on that potentially would cause it to tear. The next thing we do is we remove the old one. So we take out a 200. Before I do this, I have a read of this big red stop sign here. Please remove both protective layers before use. You need to do what it says. It's got two protective layers, one on each side of this film and they both need removing. It's, some people ask me, can I install it and then remove the layers? And the answer is no, it's really actually tricky once it's installed because it's sandwiched between the two plates, it's actually hard to remove it. So just get rid of it now. Just be aware that it's not on there and to be a little bit careful when handling it. It's gonna be okay as long as you know nothing digs into it or scratches it. To get that same tension that we had before, we need to put something underneath, the easiest way to do it. I just use a lid that sort of height or anything that height is gonna do it, but it just means that it's not gonna to be too tight and, and then not fit in back into the vat. Put the lid in the middle of the plate there. Now you can see, this is obviously the one with the larger screws, there's less of them, and the beveled edge. So that's the outside. So if you put that down like that, then your FEP sheet sits over the top of the lid in the middle there. And then again, the beveled layer here of the smaller screws facing upwards. All right, so the lid's underneath there, and it's a matter now of lining up the screw holes and pushing that down to get some tension. Now you can see these creases, we wanna try and avoid them. We get our screws out, the small screws. We get our trusty tool again, and we line it up. We put the first one in, and there's no need to pre-punch these holes the screw head will go through it no problem. Now I like to work in opposites. So I'll start here and then I'll move over to this one here. That way I can just give that corner there a little pull as I'm doing it. And just to make sure that the tension is on there a little bit and then I screw that one in. And now we just repeat the process with all the sides. So again, I'm gonna to go to that corner and then move over to this corner, put it in place give it a little, a little bit of tension on there and then screw it down. With those four in place, I'm happy with that tension there. I actually feel that I can screw the others in. So just while I screw these back in, just be aware there are obviously the, the reverse side of the, of the larger screws, the holes, but they're not beveled. So you can tell that that's not for the smaller screws. And to be honest, it just rolls around in there and doesn't, it doesn't get tight. So you know you've gone into the wrong spot if that happens.
All right, so there's the last one going in there. You can see it's nicely sandwiched between the two. Uh, now all we need to do is flip it over and put it into position here. So obviously the larger screw bevel is on the outside because we need to screw it back into the plate. Same thing here. Don't worry about these edges at this stage because we cut them off. Again, this should just pierce the film and you shouldn't need to pre there you go. Didn't need to pre-poke them. You can if you want, it's it's up to you. I, I don't bother, I just let the tool do it. You could easily do that. Something to remember here. You saw how easily this tool just went through that FEP. Very, very frustrating after doing all those screws and accidentally doing that and destroying the new FEP that you've just installed. Couple of ways around it, you can put your hand like this to make sure that it doesn't jump over. You'll notice I'm not screwing them in all the way at this stage. I like just to get a little bit of tension on them and then I'll finish them off when they're all in. Okay, so the last one's in now. You can already see that's quite tight already. We need to now tighten them until they're done up properly. So this is the spot where it can slip and it very easily puncture. So just be really, really careful. You can do that the whole mask or just guide in, have your fingers at the bottom there uh, and just hold it there so it just there's no way that it can slip. It's very, very frustrating to come this far, especially this far, <laughs> we're nearly finished, and it punctured the FEP because you have to start again. There you have it. It is tight like a drum. It sounds like a drum. They're all screwed in. The only thing left to do now is to cut off this excess. At this stage, be very, very careful. You've got a sharp blade, a tight film, and it's really, really frustrating to, to ruin it now. We're nearly at the end. Just very carefully put the edge of the knife up against there, and then slice down against the, the metal vat. Then on this side here, and then around the bottom here. If you always work downwards, it's less likely you are gonna slip and cut the fat. So there you go. A little bit time consuming, but not a hard job by any means. Now you have a brand new, very, very clear FEP sheet ready to go with really good release properties. Guys, there you go. That's how you change the FEP sheet on an Elegoo Mars. Subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, remember to keep on 3D printing.